In this video, I will show you how to fix AMD error 182 on your Windows computer. So to fix this, you need to head over to your start menu and search for device manager, and then we're gonna click on the device manager window. Come down to display adapters and expand this drop down menu, and then right click on your AMD graphics card and click on properties. Then click on the driver tab and select update driver. Click on search automatically for drivers and then check to see if you're already running the latest driver. If you already have the best drivers installed like this, then what we're gonna do is just close out of this window. Once again, right click on your AMD graphics card and click properties, click back on the driver tab, and you want to try and select this option where it says rollback driver. Sometimes this option will be grayed out and you won't be able to select it, but if you can click this, then you can try rolling back your driver. This is another way to fix the error message. Now, the third solution is to come back over to update driver. This time click on browse my computer for drivers and click let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then you just need to select your AMD graphics card and click on next. And once again, you can check to see if that's resolved your issue. Now, if it's still not working, the final solution is to head over to an internet browser and type in AMD install latest driver. Then you need to click on this top search result, which is the official AMD website. And then we're gonna scroll down to the Windows 10 and 11 section and click download drivers. Now, this is a tool that will scan for any outdated drivers on your device. So simply open up the application like so, and then you'll just need to go through the steps on the screen while it checks for any outdated drivers. When you get to this installation page, you can either choose full install, or if you just want to install the drivers, you can click on driver only, and then just go ahead and press on install. Once you've done that, you'll need to restart your computer, and it's as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.